Yeah, I'm outside. Oh, okay. Cool. What's, what's, what's up? What's up, man? Okay. Yeah, All right, we're good. recording, yeah? All right, yeah, cool. yeah. All right, let's begin. Uh, hey guys, welcome back to the Astro YouTube channel. Uh, Nat here. As promised, vlogging mode is full underway. And today, um, I'm gonna incorporate a lot of the messages that you guys sent me about what you guys wanna see on the channel, trading, lifestyle, um, and just day to day, hopefully, life and business. So uh, come on in, this is my apartment. Um, I've been here for a few months now. And by the way, before anyone comments on my uh, jersey, yes, I know Westbrook has left. Um, and hopefully look at the New Jersey soon. Um, and yeah, so I will show you around my apartment a little bit more, but it's actually quite messy right now. And um, what we would focus on is my office. Now I'll talk to you guys a little bit about what, I've doing, uh, what I've been doing since this morning, a little bit about my routine incorporated in there. So uh, come on in. So yeah, this is kind of used to be a bedroom, which got converted into a, a, a nice little office here. And yeah, so currently it is, it's 11.30 and most people are probably um, having lunch right now at work or looking forward to lunch. And me, I've not even had a shower yet. Um, so this morning in particular, I woke up about six in the morning, um, not on purpose, um, but once I woke up, I checked the charts, I checked my trades were still in, still in profit since yesterday. One of them was actually in slight loss, but there's nothing to worry about. Went back to sleep for a little bit longer with an alarm clock on. And now I'm just actually waiting and one of my targets actually just got achieved and I'm waiting for you guys to actually turn up, um, make this video and then I'm going to have a shower, maybe go for a quick swim and then we'll continue with the vlog. So um, what I want to talk to you guys about, so uh, yesterday um, I showed um, on my Instagram and I think Sean's Instagram and I want, what I want to try and do on this YouTube channel is be completely transparent. Me and Sean said, right, let's really take everything to the next level. And, you know, I want to be showing you guys real accounts, showing you guys withdrawals, showing you guys not hiding my lot sizes, not hiding that it's a real account, showing you guys the most that I can with trying to still keep some privacy of my own. So GBP, AUD and GBP, JPY, these are the two trades that I've been in. And so let me just quickly show you uh, my MetaTrader. So currently right now, I'm 24,000 um, pound up. Now, this morning, before I talk to you guys a little bit more about um, my trade, I actually did manage to close two of my positions at 40,000 uh, pounds. So the reason I closed them was because my level one target actually got achieved. And before anyone makes any marks about it being a demo, there you go, it's a live account, guys. And yeah, so that's what I'm currently up right now. Uh, BTC, I'll explain this trade another time um, with my crypto guy, but right now I'm explaining these two trades. So GBP AUD. So I have these levels drawn on for some for some time and I saw my support level get tested one, two, three, four, and then five times. Now, one of my entries was actually after this candlestick right here and I actually managed to have a decent stop loss as well. And then once the price came down and then tested again, then I knew I could actually enter once more. And my target was, which I've already got drawn on for you guys, was around 140 pips. So that got achieved and I've, obviously that's why I've closed two of my positions. And what I'm trying to see right now is will it continue? And if it does, I've got a potential next target, which could be up here. Uh, at 1.79400. Um, but yeah, once my target one is achieved, I always try and close some positions, so I'm a bit more risk-free overall. And the other trade, which I'm in right now, which is the GBP JPY, that's the one I woke up this morning and I was in slight loss. That one right here is a trade in which myself and Sean discussed in yesterday. He actually showed me this particular trade. And if I go, let's say, to a weekly, I'll try and give you guys a quick one-minute breakdown. Um, for me, this is a huge area of uh, potential support. And once you go through the different time frames, you can then see how this price is actually reacting to the support. So uh, remember, support and resistance is not simply one line, it's an area. So this is the area I've got drawn on here. And I can see it tested one, two, three times. A nice little morning star formation there on the four hour time frame. And then I managed to draw one quick, much more smaller support here, which I most likely got from like a 10 minute time frame. And then you have this nice, hammer candlestick appearing on the four hour. So I've got my small little first target there, which again, let's go ahead and try and draw on. Price range. So this could be a nice 95 pips to the upside. And then similar to GBP AUD, I'll see how it reacts on this level. Will I potentially close this trade? Um, but again, hopefully after a little while, I can actually reduce my risk on this trade as well. 
And so um, something actually helping the pound right now is, of course, you guys might have seen Boris Johnson actually being elected. Now, a lot of people, you know, might not be in favor of that, but because I think a lot of people will kind of finish with Theresa May, a lot more optimism has actually come back into the pound. And of course, um, the EU, whether they're willing to actually negotiate with Boris Johnson, that could actually, again, cause some more positivity and, um, you know, optimism in the pound. And of course, the pound has a lot of movement to the upside. Whether it happened, we don't know, but I do feel like that assisted um, the pound over the last two days and hopefully it's going to continue for today. So that's my trade score right now, guys. And now I'm actually going to have a quick shower and then, um, yeah, we'll head over to the office and let's get into today's topic that will hopefully um, you guys will enjoy. And my quick shower. See you guys later. So guys, um, I've actually lived in London for about a year and a half now, yeah, about a year and a half and uh, yeah, um, just left my apartment and I'm actually going to show you guys how close I actually live to Big Ben, um, so I actually live in an area called Westminster and it's like two roads away from Big Ben so we'll take a bit of a scenic road uh, to the office so uh, let's check that out and then yeah, Nando's, Nando's office, then we'll continue with the vlog. Completely closed? Yeah. Could I have a um, butterfly chicken hot? Yeah. With spicy rice and peri peri chips. Yeah. Can I have three chicken wings hot? Yeah. Whilst we're in traffic, I'll show you guys how the current trades are getting on. So this one when we left my house, I think it was about 3,000, so it's up to 7,000. And this one's slightly more in profit as well. Remember GBP AUD, I took my two uh, positions, well three positions all off on my first target. And this one's now uh, running in profit. And then GBP JPY, we're gonna have to be patient. Let's see how this plays off by the end of the day. And let me uh, make one thing aware to you guys that I'm not promoting this to say, hey, this is how life is every single day. No, with the particular trading style that I have, I'm quite patient. And so these particular positions might come every four days, seven days, 10 days. Um, on top of that, you've got your losing days, you've got your losing weeks. Sometimes you might lose two or three uh, trades in a row. And I will be sharing that on this channel as well. I'll be sharing the losses that I've actually got. I'll be sharing sometimes when I might be stuck in a trade and it's going sideways. Um, so yeah, um, you know, I want to hopefully use this as motivation for you guys, but also show you the realistic uh, kind of mindset you need to have for trading. Um, you know, with this profit, I don't jump up and down and I don't let it get to my head. At the same time, I don't really let the losses get to my heart either. Um, so yeah, on the way to the office, let's see how these positions play off. And yeah, hope you guys enjoy the rest of the vlog. So now we're back in the office, finished eating up, and I'm gonna give you guys a bit of a progress of some of the trades this morning, and i also talk about the topic of the title of this video, why you would never stop trading Forex. But let's start with a quick catch up. So GBP AUD, as, whoops, let me just get rid of that. As I mentioned, this was my second target, broke the first target, it actually came 11 pips close to my first target. So I'm gonna get out of this opportunity right now, and pretty happy with um, you know, over 150 pips on this position. GBP JPY, so again, I, I gave this target up here, um, which is a nice little 80 uh, so pip target. It came 11, 14 pips close to our target and now looking like it's pulling back. And obviously you can see all the consolidation here. So this happens in trading, you know, I actually wanted for it to hit my take profit, did not do so, I was driving at the time. So now it's come back and if we just open up the positions, um, we're pretty much back to three and a half thousand. I saw that at one point on roughly 10,000, but I'm gonna consider closing this trade if it probably goes back below my moving average just there. And if you hop over here, I'll give you a quick breakdown of the pound as well. So the pound, because I'm trading GBP JPY and GBP AUD, here's GBP USD. Now for this, 
we're still below 1.25. If I were to get a break above 1.25, then I might aim towards 1.26500, which is my um, first take profit up there as well. So looking at all three of these positions, but we do need some strength in the pound, which we do not have yet. And I'm actually gonna go ahead and actually close. Uh, let's actually close it live. I'll show you guys closing this live. Uh, my password. <laughs> Uh, let me go and just close this live. So that is closed. There you go. History. It's up today. A nice little um, 66,000. And this was again, so a position I've been waiting for for a while. And again, there is my name and there's a live account as well for you guys to have a quick look at. So topic for this video. So I called it why you would never stop trading Forex. And I, want to talk, I wanted to talk about the topic at the end of this video, because again, you guys have seen the rewards that the market can give you. But again, I'm making it very clear that with my trading style, my account, this is all down to my characteristics and my approach to the market, which is different to other people's. Some people out there might be trading every day. Some people might be trading you know, very long positions. This is just the way I look at the market. Sometimes I'll take a break for a few days. Sometimes I'll go for a losing streak. So again, I'm gonna be transparent with you guys. Um, but yeah, when you are up, a good amount of money and you know it's hard to compare anything else to the world of trading and that's why mostly all of you watching this have firstly got involved if i'm honest with you if you guys probably ever made more than 500 pound or a thousand pound in a day which most likely many people um, have definitely achieved once you'll go away and you'll look at everything else in life you'll compare everything else and it just won't be the same at one point when i lost me and sean lost for about three and a half years like every week we would lose and the amount of times I quit, maybe five, 10, 15 times. And sometimes it'd be simple as like telling myself, you know what, no one wins. And I wanna cry about it. And um, you know, I meet my friends, and I was like, nobody wins, this is bullshit. Three, four days later, I open the chart again. I get back into it. Um, you know, after more losses, then you're more depressed. You feel like shit even more. And then you say, you know what, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do this for the next few weeks now. Maybe seven days pass, eight days pass, you'll open the charts again. Now, everybody that's watching this video, think about it. You say you're gonna quit, but how often and how long will it be, whether you're at work, with your friends, whether you're bored at home, will you open that computer and open these charts again? And if you will, that's when you gotta to think to yourself, this is not a race, this is not a race. I've been doing this for 10 years now, 2009 I started. So it's been um, yeah, you know, many years now since I've been doing this. And you know, again, failing for three and a half years to begin with, and then slowly getting to this point. Um, so I know in myself right now that my life will always have something to do with Forex trading, and it'll always be a passion of mine, and I'm addicted to it. I am addicted to trading. And I'm gonna explain something behind the whiteboard, which for this video, and something that I knew many years ago, but I wanna show you guys why, now that hopefully uh, you guys will admit that you're also addicted to the markets, I'm explain to you guys why you probably will always be addicted. So. Over here, I've got three different sections. By the way, these are brains. I know people are gonna comment saying they look like clouds, okay? I spent at least five minutes drawing these. And yeah, what I'm gonna to explain to you guys is the effects that trading probably has on your brain, which you don't even really realize just now. So this was an experiment done. Um, I'm, maybe I'll put it below which particular experiment it was and where I watched it. But what they took was they took gambling and they took people that were addicted to gambling. Now, in this instant, I'm gonna compare it to trading because let's be honest, trading is a gamble like most things are in life and it's a bet. And it actually probably gives you quite similar sensations whether you're doing it wrong or correctly, but yeah, let's compare them too. So there's an actual study done where they put a person in an MRI scanner. Now for an MRI scan, that's where different things are connected to your brain and they wanna see with different influences what actually what happens to your brain, which chemicals start going around and you know, what, kind of, what, it, what it does to your brain cells. So what they did was they took a, took a guy, uh, a person that was addicted to gambling, addicted, you know, addiction to anything, and they put him in an, an MRI scanner. And on top of that MRI scanner, they put a screen. And in that screen, they placed and showed a bet happening. So this were the three different um, kind of steps that the, the documentary actually showed. Number one was placing. So, of course, it was placing the bets, but I'm gonna say it's placing the trade. Now, when that happens, your brain, different things will start to go off in your brain, obviously with your visuals, and, and, and you know, it's something that you're used to seeing, it's a sensation, it's addiction. So different things will start to happen in your brain, your brain will basically get turned on. Now, number two, is actually when you're in 
So when you're actually watching, we'll put, we'll put watching as well. Now when this happens, this is part two, you're gonna see a dramatic difference in your brain. And this is where you've got loads of different things going on. It's basically an accelerated process of what's going on in your brain, different chemicals going on. You've got like the different parts of your brain as well. So, you know, it's basically like an amplified version of what's happening in your, in your brain right now. And number three, win. Winning, let's put that. So you guys are probably gonna think right now that this next step is gonna be again, another advanced version of what's actually going on in the brain. But what if I was to tell you that when they just did the study, they actually managed to look at the different places your brain was when it was in and watching, and number two, when it was winning. And they were actually near enough the same. Now, what does that tell you? Well, if you think about trading, for example, the sensation of actually winning is just as much as actually taking place. And that's where addiction comes from. And imagine you guys, yourselves, in that same MRI scanner, and you guys above you have a screen of MetaTrader opening, of you guys placing a trade, of you guys being in the trade and winning. All those things, you know, create you know, dopamine. All those things will mess with your brain cells and give you guys that feeling that is so addictive that you always need to go back to it. So even though you guys might be thinking you're addicted to the charts and you guys are addicted to the actual profits and the career of trading, well actually, what's going on in your brain you guys are not in control of. So whether you guys have been doing this for a month, a year, five years, maybe as long as me, just understand that, again, being in this business gives you the same excitement as winning. And therefore you really have to start to take your time and understand, okay, cool, you know, talk to yourselves. I say I want a career in trading, and I say I want to do this for the next 10, 15 years, but I'm trading as if I'm trying to get rich by Friday. Um, and again, going back to what I said before, take your time with it. Uh, don't be afraid, don't be disheartened because you want to quit or anything like that. Just understand that, hey, for the next, maybe all of my life, the next few years of my life, I would always open a chart and I'm always going to want to learn to how to conquer this market. And therefore, take your time, do not rush, do not, again, from my last video, uh, watch people on, on social media saying, hey, I started a month ago and I'm up X amount of profit. That's just gonna affect you guys more than the market is already actually affecting you. So yeah, why you will never give up Forex trading is because of the chemical reactions, which is already doing to your brain, the amazing feeling of actually learning and you know, combining your, uh, your predictions with market analysis, with technicals, with fundamentals, and watching something play out, it's a great sensation and it will never ever go away. Trust me, I've been doing this for long enough. So I'm addicted. I know everybody that has joined AstroFX is going to be addicted and most likely you are. So take your time, learn this business really well, understand what actually goes on behind the scenes. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. Um, I hope you do another one soon.